I thought YouTube was removing the dislikes. So for me, I can still see them. So look, this is a completely, this is the guest window. Guest window, there's no extensions, there's nothing. I'll go to a video, let's go ahead and, and, and go to this video right here. There it is. I can see the dislikes. Go to any video here. Dislikes. So, I mean, they should have done this November 10th is what it said. And it's November 20th, well, almost like two weeks later. Two weeks later, November. So, what's up? What's up? So as you know, YouTube was supposed to remove the public dislike count on November 10th, you know, to protect all of the fake news companies and all of the, you know, misinformation of from, from coming, coming from them and coming from the presidents and coming from the government, all that sort of stuff. Because, you know, the consensus is that most people don't like that nonsense. But it's still there. It's still there. I see it. Maybe you don't see it. I don't know. I still see it if I open up a guest window. Now, the last cutoff date when I got the email for the API accessing the, the dislike count via the API was December 13th. So maybe that is when, you know, it'll change or something. I don't know. But is that just kind of strange? Unless they're doing like an A-B testing or something. Are they doing a a b testing to see how people like this I, I don't know but all i know is that i'm still seeing that information there still seeing it still seeing it <laughs> not that i care i don't as i said i have a i have something that completely blocks all that stuff but i just find that so strange I just find that so strange that they say that they're going to block it, but it's still there. And you know what else is weird? I'm not going to show, I'm not going to show it again, but on my on my non-guest page when I go to YouTube, let me just like find like a random video. So below the title of the video, okay, here it is. So below the title of the video, it has, you know, the the publish date and the view count and that sort of stuff. It also, right next to that, has error 403. A 403 error. It, just, it, it literally just says in text, error 403. I'm like, okay, why is that? Usually 403 is a forbidden. It says forbidden. <clears throat> so if you know anything about websites, you know, that is a forbidden, forbidden, like, thing there. But it's like, okay, wh what is YouTube doing that, 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 is, that is forbidden? I it just, it's weird, it's weird, but. Okay, here is my homepage. We have all of the fake news here. So why don't we go ahead and go to like the, the, this fake news source right here. And let's take a look right here. We have, we have the published date and then we have error 403. <laughs> Sir? <laughs> Sir, are you, are you, I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what that what that's supposed to be. And as I said, I hide the the view count, but I don't think that is. I'm pretty sure that's not the view count because I think the view count goes before the date, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure it does. So I don't know what this is afterwards. I don't know. YouTube is just funky now. That's why. That's why the best thing you can do is head over to Odyssey. Head over to Odyssey where a whole bunch of good stuff is. Okay. <laughs> you could you take care now. Have a great one. And I'll catch you later. Oh, look, you can see his fake news earpiece in there. Looks like a straw. Sir?